Hello and welcome to the Walking Talking Topic on Exchange Rates, question number two with me, Mr. Barton. Now, I like this question, even though it's a bit of a devious, tricky one. At a particular time, the following three exchange rates were available. One pound equals 1.2 euros, one pound equals $1.58, and one euro equals $1.26. Here it goes. A sum of money is exchanged from pounds to euros. So that's the first thing that's happening, pounds to euros. And then from euros, it's changed into dollars. Calculate the percentage loss in this compared with changing the initial sum of money directly into dollars. Flipping it. Now, my advice is this. Assume, it help if I could spell, assume we start with 100 pounds. Now, the advantage of doing that is it just keeps the numbers relatively nice. Um, we can do it kind of using algebra, but if we st assume we start with 100 pounds and we just fix that, it's just going to make all our calculations a little bit nicer. So, let's start with 100 quid. So, we've got 100 pounds, and we're going to first change that into euros. So, we know that 1 pound is 1.2 euros. So, to get from 1 pound to 1.2 we times by 1.2. So get from to get from 100 quid to amount of euros, we're going to times by 1.2. So we're going to get 120 euros. Nice easy start. We've then got euros and we're going to change that to dollars. So we've got our euros here and we're going to change to dollars. Now we know that one euro is 1.26 dollars, but we've got 120 euro. So again, to get from our euro to a dollar, we're going to times by 1.26. So to get from 120 euros to our amount of dollars, we're going to times by 1.26 as well. You're going to need to reach for the calculator here. 120 times by 1.26. Bang that in there. Press my little SD button. What's coming out there? 151.2 dollars. So I reckon if we do it that way, we end up with 151.2 dollars. Now let's compare it the other way. If this time we just take our initial sum of money, so we've got 100 pounds, and this time we're going to change it directly into dollars. So we know that one pound is $1.58. So to get from our pound to our dollars, we times by 1.58. So let's do the same thing there, times by 1.58. Well, that would be no surprise. I don't need a calculator for that. That's going to be $158. So one way we do it, we get $151.2. The other way, we get $158. Now, we're one step away from getting our, fi our final couple of marks. Calculate the percentage loss in doing it the other way compared to if you just change the initial sum of money directly into dollars. So, how much do we actually lose by doing it that kind of dodgy way around? So, our loss in actual money is going to be 158 take away 151.2. Let's just get the calculator on that one. 158 take away 151.2. Press equals, press my little SD, and that is going to be $6.8. But it doesn't want the actual amount, it wants the percentage amount. Now let's make sure we don't mess this last bit up, because it's a little bit ambiguous, this question. Calculate the percentage loss in doing this, so um, that's the kind of dodgy way of doing it, compared with changing the initial sum of money in directly into dollars. So I think the and changing the initial sum of money direct that is the original and this is the change so it's going to be 6.8 divided by what the original um amount was that's going to be 158 times by 100 and that is going to give us our percentage well, 158 equals that times by 100 and I'm going to press my little SD button there, and I'm getting an answer of 4.3037.3037. The reason I think that's a bit ambiguous is 
Um, some people might think that you're going to divide that by the 151.2, but I think there, calculate the percentage loss in doing this compared with changing the initial sum of money. That suggests to me that the doing it the initial sum of money is kind of the original thing that you're doing, and you're using that for the comparison. So that's my answer. 6.8 divided by 158 times by 100. But this way of setting out exchange rate questions, I think, is the way forward for these ones.